Hello, my dear students of class 9th. Today, I am going to start same chapter motion, its second part. In this part, today I will tell you about average velocity, average speed, graph, graph, two types of graph. Here I will discuss one is distance time, second one is velocity time graph, as well as I will tell you about the equation of motion. Now, the first topic is average velocity. Average velocity. It is denoted by V and then right here average. Actually, average velocity is what? I told in a previous lecture that whenever any motion is continuing, in that particular motion there is a velocity by which motion starts and there is a velocity at which motion ends. These two velocity creates there in which the velocity by which motion is start is called initial velocity, symbol is U, and the motion by which and the velocity by which motion completes. Is called final velocity symbol is V. So concept of average velocity is what? This is the average of these two velocity. Means initial velocity plus final velocity divided by two gives the average velocity. When that means what? Given whenever any motion is non means velocity changes, then average velocity you can calculate by this formula. Second one is average speed. Speed velocity both are in numerical value both are means you can say definition is approximately same but the difference is what the velocity is vector speed is the scalar so here must we count distance not displacement so sometimes magnitude becomes same depends upon case sometimes magnitude also different now when you can calculate average speed then at that time this is total distance remember this divide by total time means whatever the distance traveled by body in different phase divide by different phase of time you will get average speed means sum all the distances of all the phases and sum all the time of all the phases divide these two you will get average speed so this is average velocity this is average speed now this is very important topic which i am going to discuss with you that third topic that is graph in class 6, in class 7, in class 8, in mathematics, you must have study graph. Now, graph is what? What is graph? Graph is what? With the help of graph, you can state different types of event. Means graph is a pictorial arrangement due to which you can explain, you can explain, you can express so many types of event like with the help of graph, if any graph is given for the cricket match, one side over is given, one side run is given. Very smartly you can say in which over how many run was scored, in which over no run was scored, in which over wickets fallen, etc. etc. with the help of graph you can explain. So this is called graph. For the graph, we always require two axes. Two axes. Sometimes we use three axes also. It depends upon variables. In these two axes, if two axes are given, if I'm taking this condition. In these two axes means we are having two variables. Variable means such type of things whose value changes. In which one variable can indicate along the horizontal line or x-axis and one variable can indicate along the vertical line that is y-axis. It is not necessary that this variable should be on x-axis, this variable should be on y-axis. Between two variables, any one variable can be on x-axis, any one variable can be on y-axis. So this is called graph. In the graph, there are so many types of graph, but in your 9th class standard, there are two types of graph, distance time and velocity time. So now, if you take distance time, sometimes it is denoted by dt graph, sometimes it is st graph, like this. In distance time, the two variables here, the one variable is distance and the second variable is time. So it depends upon you on which axis you are taking time, on which axis you are taking distance. But for convenience, we always take on x-axis time and on y-axis we always take distance. This is s, this is t. The direction in which value increases. And this is called origin. Now, graph is distance in time. So with the help of distance in time graph, what the things you can calculate? Number first, you can tell about the nature of motion. Means what the nature of motion? Motion is uniform 
or motion is non-uniform. What is uniform and non-uniform? I will discuss after this explanation. And number two, because it is distance time, so with the help of distance time, you can calculate speed because this speed is what distance upon time. So if distance is given, time is given, you can calculate speed. So these are the two things which you can easily calculate with the help of distance time graph. Now the question is how we calculate speed. Mathematically, how we calculate speed. So to calculate speed, let us suppose I am taking this the type of graph. This is a graph which shows that even time is zero, distance is zero. As time increases, distance increases, means it is uniform. Now the question is what is the speed of this graph? Let this point is A and draw perpendicular here, this point is B. Then here must be an angle that is theta and this is perpendicular. Now here you can apply dynamic ratio. With the help of you can calculate speed. Speed is mathematically we write slope of distance time graph. Distance time graph slope is called speed. And slope means what? Perpendicular upon. This is perpendicular. You are getting your perpendicular AB. And you know in dynamic ratio sin theta, cos theta, tan theta. I think this is a new thing for you in class 9 standard. You will study mathematics. These are called dynamic ratios. And their values are fixed. You can learn this value in this way. L A L upon K K A. L means perpendicular. K means hypotenuse. A means base. K means hypotenuse. L means perpendicular. A means base. With the help of this, you can calculate. First comes sine theta. Sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Then cos theta, base upon hypotenuse. Then tan theta, perpendicular upon base. In this way, you can learn the formula in mathematics. You will get this particular concept by your last lecture. Now here, slope can be written as tan theta. Now the value of tan theta, if you see from here, it is perpendicular upon base. So perpendicular is AB, base is OB. This is called speed. Means if you know this value, if you know this value, when you solve these two values, you will get the speed. Okay. Now this is distance, it must come in meter. This is OB is base in second, meter upon second means speed. So with the help of this formula, you can calculate speed with the help of distance time graph. Now the second graph is VT graph. In VT graph, two variables. One is velocity, second is time. In the same way, on these two axes, any two axes you can any one axis you can take time, any one axis you can take velocity. For convenient, time is taken on this axis, velocity you take in this axis. Now, what we can calculate with the help of velocity time graph? Number first, because it is velocity and time, so we can calculate acceleration. We can calculate with the help of velocity and time displacement as well as we can calculate distance also. I will come afterwards over this topic. Now question is how we calculate acceleration. In the same way as we calculate speed here, we can calculate acceleration. This is the type of graph O, A, draw perpendicular B. Now in VD graph, acceleration is slope of VD graph. Slope means tan theta. Tan theta means you can see perpendicular upon base. Perpendicular is AB, base is O. Whatever the value of AB is here, from this axis we calculate. And whatever the value of OB is here, we can write here. By dividing, we will get acceleration. Now question is displacement and distance. For displacement and distance, remember this formula. For distance. Distance is sum of area of all closed figure. In VT graph, in VT graph, whatever the close figure is given, either one close figure is there or two close or more than two, three, four, five, six, you add all the figures, area, and you will get the distance. But when you calculate displacement, then for displacement, above x-axis, whatever the close figures are given, add those areas. Whatever the uh, close areas are given below x-axis, add them, then subtract these two. Above x-axis. And below x axis subtract both the areas you will get displacement means sum of area of all closed figure 
above x axis sum this then minus sum of area of all closed figure below x axis add this add this then in result subtract those and you will get displacement for example here is a vt graph and this is graph is given in this way in this manner suppose that in this manner graph is given so this is first closed figure this is second closed figure this is third closed figure if this is velocity axis this is time axis if you are going to calculate distance then sum this area this area this area no subtraction is here but when you are going to calculate displacement add this one and this one because it is above x axis and below x axis is only one figure that is two then add the area of first figure area of third figure and then from that area subtract area of third figure second figure you will get this displacement so with the help of vt graph you can calculate all these things okay now the next topic is equation of motion look okay. there are three equation of motion first second and third in which the first one is v equals to u plus at second one is s is equals to u d plus half at square and third one is v square equals to u square plus 2 as this is called equation of motion don't forget the sequence if anybody asks you first equation of motion then this will be first only if you are saying this or this then you will be wrong this is second this is third nobody can not a single equation can change the place of itself means whatever the first that will be first second third don't think that ki second may be first third may be second like that no first is this one second is this one third one is this one where you already initial velocity i told you v final velocity s distance a acceleration p is time so these are symbols whose meaning is there in the equation of motion so now for today it is sufficient in my next lecture i will tell you about the derivation of these equation of motion analytical means mathematical as well as graphical okay all the best